Bianca nuestro paraíso. Donde el amor florece sin aviso. How to build a sustainable income while traveling the world. Welcome to Living Well Living Rich, the bilingual health and wealth academy. Join Coco Shunkson and spend just a few minutes learning each day to create your own value and become a better version of yourself. Being valuable is the true wealth that lasts a lifetime. Let's paint a picture. You're sipping a coconut on a beach in Thailand, your toes in the sand, laptop perched on your lap as the warm breeze gently reminds you that, Yes, you are in fact working in paradise. Your phone pings. That's another payment for a project you completed while lounging in a hammock. Life is good. Welcome to the digital nomad dream. But before you buy that one-way ticket and bid farewell to your office cubicle forever, there's one small detail to iron out. How exactly are you going to make money while living the dream of jet-setting across the globe? This guide will walk you through the art of building a sustainable income while traveling the world. No, we're not talking about winning the lottery or becoming the next crypto millionaire, although if you can, by all means, go for it. We're talking about real, actionable ways to generate income that can support your travels long term. Spoiler, it involves Wi-Fi, some hustle, and a dash of patience. Step 1. Figure out your why and your how. Before we get into the practical stuff, let's start with something a little philosophical. Why do you want to travel and work at the same time? Is it the freedom? The adventure? Or are you just trying to escape Karen from accounting and her endless chatter about her cats? Knowing your why will help guide your decisions when building a sustainable income. If you just want to escape, well, that's fine too. But having clarity on your reasons will help you stay motivated when Wi-Fi is spotty, or you've spent 15 hours on an overnight bus with a guy snoring next to you. Now on to the how. How do you want to earn money? The beauty of the digital age is that there are a gazillion ways to make a living online. But the key here is sustainable, meaning it's something that doesn't require you to sell your kidney or survive on ramen noodles forever. Consider what skills you already have, what you enjoy doing, and where there's demand in the market. Step 2. Freelancing, your ticket to flexibility. Ah, freelancing. It's the bread and butter of the digital nomad community, and for good reason. Freelancing allows you to work on your own terms, choosing projects and clients that fit your lifestyle. You can work from anywhere, a cozy cafe in Paris or a hostel in Peru, as long as you have your trusty laptop and reliable Wi-Fi. Getting started. One dot pick a skill, do you have a knack for writing? Are you a pro at graphic design? Can you develop websites in your sleep? Freelancing allows you to moneyize your existing skills. If you're scratching your head thinking, I don't have any marketable skills, don't worry. There are tons of online courses and resources that can help you learn in-demand skills like coding, copywriting, or social media management. 2. Create a portfolio, whether it's a website, a PDF, or even a LinkedIn profile, having a portfolio showcasing your work is key to landing clients. And if you're just starting out and don't have any work to show yet, do a few free projects or create some mock examples. Trust me, clients want to see what you can do, not just read about it. 3. Find clients, there are plenty of platforms that make it easy to find freelance gigs. Upwork, Fiverr, and Freelancer are some of the big names, but don't sleep on niche job boards like we work remotely, Remote OK, or even LinkedIn. Cold pitching clients directly is also a solid option once you're feeling more confident. Freelancing is great because it's flexible and can be quite lucrative if you build up a solid client base. Just make sure to save some of that beach money for taxes, freelance income can be a bit tricky in the eyes of the taxman. Step 3. Start a remote business. If you're looking for something a little more stable than freelancing and want to build something of your own, starting a remote business could be the way to go. Before you roll your eyes and think, I'm not an entrepreneur, remember that starting a business today can be as simple as opening a Shopify store or offering a service online. Ideas to get the wheels turning. 
1.e commerce starting an online store is easier than ever with platforms like Shopify, Etsy, or Amazon. You could sell physical products, like that eco friendly yoga mat you've always wanted to make, or even digital products, think templates, online courses, or printables. The best part? You don't even need to handle the inventory yourself if you go the dropshipping route. 2. Coaching or consulting, are you a master of something? Life, business, fitness, or even mindset? You'd be surprised how many people are willing to pay for your expertise. You can set up a website, build your personal brand, and offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions from anywhere in the world. Just remember to have those time zones figured out, there's nothing worse than showing up to a client call six hours late. 3. Virtual Assistant If you've got mad organizational skills, becoming a virtual assistant, VA, can be a lucrative business. As a VA, you can offer administrative support to entrepreneurs and businesses in areas like email management, social media, scheduling, and more. Pro tip. The more specialized your skills, like bookkeeping or digital marketing, the higher rates you can command. Starting a business is a long-term game. But once you get it going, it's one of the best ways to build sustainable income while traveling. And hey, you'll have a cool answer when someone asks, so, what do you do for a living? Step 4. Teach what you know. Are you an expert in something? Do you love the sound of your own voice, in a good way, of course? If so, teaching online might just be your calling. Thanks to platforms like Udemy, Teachable, and Skillshare, you can create courses on virtually anything and sell them to an eager audience. Whether you're teaching people how to play the ukulele, code websites, or bake the perfect sourdough bread, there's someone out there willing to pay for your knowledge. Why it's awesome. 1. Passivish income Once you've created your course and done the marketing legwork, your course can keep selling while you focus on other things. You're technically still earning, even while you're trekking through the Himalayas. 2. You can teach anything, seriously. If you've ever thought, there's no way anyone would want to learn about that, think again. There's a course on how to fold a fitted sheet out there, bless that person, so don't underestimate your niche expertise. Teaching online is a great way to leverage your skills and knowledge into a sustainable income source. And as a bonus, you'll feel pretty good knowing you've helped someone master a new skill. Step 5. Become a content creator, yes, really. You've probably heard this before, you can make money online by starting a blog or a YouTube channel. And you're probably rolling your eyes thinking, yeah, right, like it's that easy. Well, here's the thing, it can be, but it takes time and consistency. Becoming a content creator, whether that's blogging, YouTube, podcasting, or Instagram, is a long game, but it can lead to multiple income streams like sponsorships, ad revenue, affiliate marketing, and even merchandise sales. Getting started. 1. Find your niche, whether it's travel, tech, fitness, or even knitting, the more specific your niche, the better. People love content that speaks to their unique interests, and brands love creators with an engaged audience. 2. Start creating content, this is where the fun, and work, begins. Whether you're filming YouTube videos, writing blog posts, or snapping Instagram pics, the key is to create content consistently. It doesn't need to be perfect right away, in fact, it probably won't be. But with time, your content will improve, and so will your audience engagement. 3. Monais, once you've built an audience, which, by the way, takes time, no shortcuts here, you can start monaizing your content. This could be through Google AdSense on your blog, affiliate marketing for products you love, or even brand sponsorships. The bigger your audience, the more opportunities you'll have. Being a content creator isn't as easy as it sounds, but if you enjoy creating and sharing your journey, it can be a fun and rewarding way to build sustainable income while traveling. Plus, you get to call yourself a digital influencer, which is sure to impress your aunt at Thanksgiving. Step 6. Build passive income streams. Now, let's talk about the holy grail of digital nomad income, passive income. The idea of making money while you sleep sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not entirely a fantasy, but here's the deal, most passive income streams require a lot of upfront work. But once they're set up, they can provide a steady stream of income with minimal ongoing effort. Some passive income ideas. 
One affiliate marketing, if you have a blog, website, or social media following, you can make money by recommending products or services and earning a commission for each sale made through your unique link. This works particularly well if you have a niche and can recommend products that your audience genuinely needs. 2. Create and sell digital products, whether it's an ebook, an online course, or digital templates, creating a product that you can sell over and over again without additional effort is the dream. Set it up on a platform like Gumroad or Etsy, market it, and let the sales roll in. 3. Investing, okay, this isn't necessarily passive in the beginning, because, let's be real, understanding stocks and mutual funds takes some effort, but once you've got a handle on it, investing can be a great way to generate income. Whether you're into real estate, stocks, or index funds, setting up a well-diversified investment portfolio can create a long-term income stream. Just make sure you don't check your portfolio after a few too many margaritas on the beach. While passive income might not replace your regular earnings immediately, it can become a solid addition to your income arsenal over time. Step 7. Managing your money like a pro. It's not enough to just make money, you need to manage it well, too. When you're traveling the world, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking every day is a holiday. Spoiler, it's not. That's why managing your income is essential to keeping this dream alive for the long haul. Tips for staying financially afloat. 1. Budget, 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 keep track of your expenses, especially if you're earning in multiple currencies. There are plenty of apps like Mint, YNAB, or even a trusty old Excel sheet to help you keep things organized. 2. Save for the lean months, freelance work, business income, and passive income can fluctuate. Make sure you have enough saved to cover your expenses during slower months. Aim to build up an emergency fund that can cover at least three to six months of living costs. 3. Invest in your skills, your income potential is tied to your skill set. So don't be afraid to invest in yourself, whether that's taking an online course, attending a conference, or upgrading your gear. The more valuable you are, the more you can charge. Step 8. Embrace the journey, and the Wi-Fi challenges. Let's face it, the digital nomad lifestyle isn't always as glamorous as Instagram makes it out to be. There will be times when your internet connection drops during an important client call, when the only desk you can find is a plastic chair at a roadside cafe, or when your laptop dies in the middle of nowhere with no charging station in sight. But here's the thing, those challenges are part of the adventure. Building a sustainable income while traveling the world is entirely possible, but it takes patience, a sense of humor, and a willingness to adapt. You'll have good days, bad days, and a few days where you'll question whether you should just move back home and get a real job. Don't worry, that feeling passes after a dip in the ocean or a hike through the mountains. The key is to stay flexible, embrace the unknown, and remember that with a little hustle, you can create a life where you earn a living and see the world. So pack your bags, book that flight, and get ready to live the dream, just don't forget to double check that the Wi-Fi actually works at your next destination. And that's it. Whether you're freelancing, starting a remote business, teaching online, creating content, or building passive income streams, the digital nomad lifestyle is within your reach. It won't always be easy, but it will be worth it. Now go out there, earn that income, and make the world your office. Enroll in the full course, live anywhere, work everywhere, digital nomad essentials. Unlock the freedom to work from anywhere in the world. Whether you dream of working from the beach or a bustling city abroad, this course provides you with the tools and knowledge to make it happen. Learn how to build a successful remote career, travel smart, and thrive as a digital nomad. Start your journey towards a life of location independence and flexible work. Join us today, the course link is waiting for you in the message bar. Enroll now. I hope today's content has inspired you. Even if just one sentence resonated with you, that would bring me great joy. If you found it helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends so they too can benefit. Remember to stay tuned for more. We'll catch you in the next podcast on CocoShunkson.net. Al ritmo de una pasión Caminamos de la mano Por las calles
calles de la ciudad Cada beso, cada abrazo es pura felicidad Caminamos de la mano por las calles de la ciudad Cada beso, cada abrazo es pura felicidad Gran Canaria, nuestro paraíso Entre tú y yo Cada día es un regalo En tus brazos mi lugar sagrado Que en Canaria nuestro paraíso Donde el amor florece sin aviso Nuestro amor eterno y puro, una llama que perdura. Y aunque nadie nuestro paraíso. Nuestro paraíso 
Nunca dejaré de amar 